Hi, first grade. Today we are here for another math lesson and we are going to be starting section four of chapter eight. And what you are going to need is your dry erase board, dry erase marker and a tissue. You are also going to need your cubes. So <clears throat> I'm going to ask you to have your 10 stick cubes and your baggie of cubes. And then you may want to also have math workbook 1B right by you, because I will of course go through the directions for that assignment. And then right away when it's fresh in your brain, you can just get started with that assignment. Let's go ahead and take a look at our math book today. We are going to walk through a few examples and then I will explain your assignment for today. Today's assignment you guys will be able to do mostly on your own. For some of the assignments this week, I will be doing a lot of examples with you. So make sure for those you do have your math workbook 1B. And I will mention that at the beginning of the video. But right now you are going to see section four is subtraction with regrouping. And our learning objectives, what we want to be able to do at the end of this section is regroup tens into tens and ones, subtract ones from a two digit number with regrouping and subtract ones and tens from a two digit number with regrouping. And we are going to take a look right now, right here. So when we are talking about regrouping in terms of subtraction, it kind of is backwards from what we did with addition. What we did with addition is we took 10 ones and we made one 10. But what we are going to do with subtraction is actually take one 10 and move it over to our one side and put those 10 ones on our one side. And it will make more sense tomorrow when we start actually working with subtraction. Today's goal is just to talk about what that would look like. For example, it says right here, you can regroup the tens in a number into tens and ones. 26 equals two tens and six ones. But then it says you can regroup when you change one 10 for 10 ones. So what you are going to see right here is they actually took this 10 stick over here and they regrouped it over to the one side. So instead of having two tens and six ones, now there's one 10 and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 ones. So they just regroup that over to the one side. And it's telling you right here, it says 26 equals two tens and six ones, but it also equals one 10 and 16 ones. 26 is the same as one 10 and 16 ones. And you can clearly see that because all we did was regroup. We did not change anything about the amount we had there. We just regrouped it. Okay, we are going to try this now with a few examples. And this is where you are going to want to have your cubes and also your marker because we're going to be building a little bit and then regrouping. So the first one we are going to build and regroup is the number 25. So all I'm going to ask you to do is write the number 25 at the top of your board right now and then build it with your cubes and your 10 sticks. So what we are going to do is build the number 25 and we're going to go like this. So 25 has two 10s and five ones. Okay, so we can see that right here. 25 has two tens and five ones. But if we are going to regroup right now and take our one of our tens over here and regroup it over to our one side, we can absolutely do that. But what I'm going to ask you to do then is when you regroup this over, exchange this one 10 for 10 ones. So watch what I mean. So right here, we have two tens and five ones. We're going to regroup. So I'm going to take this 10 stick off and I'm going to now replace it with 10 ones. So one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, 10. And it does not need to be perfect right now. I just want you to see that visual. And now what you are going to see is we have one 10 and 15 ones. If we were to count, we'd see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We see right here, it's the same number. It's still 25. 15 plus 10 equals 25 right here. We just regrouped it. So we can write the number 25 in two ways in terms of place value charts. So what I want you to do right now is just get your cubes off, your cubes and your 10 sticks off of your board. And I want you to write two place value charts right now. It's going to look like this. and like this, anywhere on your board. So two T-charts. Okay, and then all I want us to do right now is the first standard way how we would do it. We would put two tens and five ones for that number 25. That would be the first way that we would normally write it when we're talking in terms of place value. And the way that we write would write it when we regrouped would be one ten and 15 ones. That is what we saw on our board when we just regrouped our numbers and regrouped our 10 over to the one side. They both equal 25. Just two different ways to write it. And again, this will make more sense tomorrow why we are doing this. Go ahead and erase your boards. Let's do another number. Let's go ahead and do the number 32. So write it up at the top and let's build it. So build it first like you normally would build it. So building our tens, 32 has three tens. So you'd put three ten sticks and it has two ones. Awesome. Now we're just going to go ahead and regroup one of our tens. That's it, we only need to regroup one. So, ooh, excuse me, you are going to go ahead and regroup it over here. When you regroup it over here, we're going to replace this 10 stick with 10 ones. So let's do that right now, just like how we did before. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And you'll see then we end up with two tens and 12 ones. Still equals the number 32. If we were to count, we'd say 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So you can see it still equals 32. It's just showing you that we can regroup this number and show it in different ways. So let's go ahead and clear our board again. And let's just write our two numbers in place value charts. So let's make another T chart right here, plus tens and ones, and then another T-chart, plus tens and ones. And the first one that we're going to write in right here is what we normally would do. So looking at our tens by seeing how many tens do I have? Three tens, so that would go right here in the tens place. Looking at the ones place, how many ones do I have? Two, or how many ones does the number have? two, writing that in our ones place. And then coming down here and in this place you, value chart, we are going to write what we had when we regrouped. When we regrouped, we were left with two tens and 12 ones. When we said, okay, cool, let's take a 10 from our 10 side, regroup it over to our one side and put 10 ones over there. That's when we ended up with two tens and 12 ones. All right, boys and girls, go ahead and erase your boards. We're going to talk about our assignment. And I'm going to walk you through exactly how you complete this assignment today. Your assignment is page 21 and 22, just numbers two, three, four, and five. And what you are going to see, it looks just like what we did over here. And they are going to ask you to draw it too. And I'll show you, I'll do number one with you right now so you can see what it would look like. So, 
For example, right now, I only want you to use your dry erase board and your dry erase marker. Reason why I want you to see, actually, you can write it right on your paper. So if you do not have your math workbook 1B right now, pause the video and go grab it. And everything that I'm going to do right now, you will write on your paper. I am going to write it on my dry erase board since I don't have that paper in front of me. So what I want you to see though, is that you have to end up drawing out a few things. So first thing at the top, it says 24 blank tens, blank ones. And there is an example up here, which is fantastic because it can show us exactly what we are going to do. So you'll see what we will end up doing is filling out this top part right here, how many tens and ones it has, then draw what we have when we regroup that 10 over to the one side, which is what I wanna make sure I walk through with you guys. And then list the two ways that we can represent this number over here. That is it. So give me one moment here to set this up. And then we are going to do this together. All right, perfect. So again, you are doing it on your paper. I am doing it on my board. You are going to see we have right here, 24 equals blank tens, blank ones. Very first thing we do is we go ahead and we record what we have here, what we would normally do in terms of place value. So for example, when I look here and I look at my tens place, how many tens do I have in my tens place? Two. So on this line, I would put two. So go ahead and put two. And then how many ones do we have in the number 24? Four. So we would go ahead and put four. And that's how we do that first step. The second step, you are going to see this is already drawn out for you, where they show you right here how you would represent the number 24. You would represent it with two 10 sticks and four ones. But now we are regrouping, and they are regrouping this 110 over to the one side. So they're turning this 10 into 10 ones. And this is where you would now have to draw it. So I'm going to draw it with you. When we take this 10 over here and regroup it to our ones, we are only left with one 10 on our 10 side. So all you would do is draw one 10 like that. Then we have to draw all of the tens that are regrouped over. So we would draw the four tens that were, or the four, sorry, the ones, all the ones that were, the tens that were regrouped over to the one side, we need to draw them all. We would start by drawing the four original ones that were already there. And then we have to draw 10 more. And you're just doing this with your pencil right now, okay? So I would just count to make sure I draw 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay, just to show what it looks like when you regroup. If you need more time to go out and pause and look at this, totally cool. Otherwise, the only other step that we have right now is filling out these right here, filling out those place value charts. Well, this first one right here, you would fill out like you normally do. You would take a look and you'd say, okay, well, here's my tens place. How many tens do I have in my tens place? Two. So you'd write the number two right here. Then you'd look at your ones place. How many ones do I have in my ones place? Four. And you'd write the number four right there. This place value chart right here has to do with what we just regrouped. So that's where you want to look right here. And let me go back to my board really quick. When we look right here at the amount that we regrouped, we see that there's one 10 and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 ones. So what you would write then right here, you'd write one 10 and you'd write 14 ones because that's what our number 24 was regrouped to. Still the same amount, just regrouped and shown in a different way. So right there, we just did number one together. Okay, awesome. 
Now you are just doing two, three, four, and five on your own. So right here, all of these place value charts that are first, you are just going to write what you see. So look at the tens place. Whatever's in the tens place goes here. Whatever's in the ones place goes here. For these, it has to be what it would be regrouped into. And I'm going to encourage you to use the way that we did together. So for example, for the number 31, what you would do is you would write the number 31 up on your dry erase board. Then you would build it either with your cubes or with your dry erase board. Say I wanted to just build it with my dry erase board. Cool, I'd build it right here. So one, two, three, one, boom. Then when I regroup, all I would have to do is say, okay, well, this is going over here. So you could then erase and just say, well, let me regroup it then. Let me erase that 10 and regroup it over here and draw 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. When you do that, you'll see that you're left with two tens and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 ones. So right here, you would write two tens and 11 ones. Okay, so that is the method that I recommend you using, whether you use it with your cubes or just draw it on your dry erase board to help you solve three, four, and five. All right, first grade, you got this. All you need to do, you need to take a picture of both 21 and 22, page 21 and page 22. Remember, you're only completing two, three, four, and five on page 22. And then post a picture or a video, your choice, on class story of both of those pages, if they're not right next to each other, which when I look right now, because it looks a little bit different on my board, they are right next, or no, they're not. They are not right next to each other, so that's okay. Either you can post it as two separate posts or as a video, whatever's easiest for you. All right, first grade, I can't wait to see your awesome work and I hope you have a great day, bye.